Hello friends, in this video we are going to study the concept of boundary layer separation and various methods to separate boundary layer. So let's go to, go to video. We all know that boundary layer is a layer which is get formed surrounding a body. It may be either laminar or turbulent. So if we observe a particular object say for example this is streamline shaped body generally called as aerofoil we all might have seen aeroplane wings so it is nothing but the cross section of one of the wing so this is the direction of velocity of approach we all know that boundary layer is get formed surrounding to the region like this like this so there are two types of forces one is drag force another is lift force so drag force is nothing but the friction offered by these surfaces of aeroplane so that will be more if the fluid will be more in contact with surface it will also more if it will get separated earlier so if point of separation there are say for example two points one and two if one of the case is that boundary layer is get separated at point 1 like this and second case is boundary layer is get separated at point 2. So in case of 1 there will be more drag as compared to the second. So we will try to use methods such that this flow will try to glide on the surface up to the lower most or downward most point like this like this it means that we will try to shift the point of separation on the lower side so that there will be less changes in the direction if changes will be less then in that case there will be less energy loss and that will be the more efficient system so there are various methods either we can accelerate the flow along the fluid it means that if flow is having this direction as shown in figure then we can accelerate the flow or we will try to do the process of suction such that that process will try to stick this flow on the surface of object so accordingly the methods will be depending so let's go to the various methods of boundary layer separation First is streamlining body. Streamlining body is that body which opposes less in the traveling fluid or which is having less friction, which is having less energy loss. So, if we talk about a flat surface kept various direction, say for example, if it is kept perpendicular to the direction, then that is not streamlining body. But if it is rotated, and surface made parallel to the surface then in that case the offered friction will be less so that type of body is called as streamlining means longitudinal dimensions of a body if are aligned along the direction of fluid and then that type of body is called as streamlining body naturally speaking uh, various fluids say for example water in water the shape of fish is nothing but the streamline one all the fishes or birds birds travel in the air so shape of birds is nothing but the streamline one so these offer less resistance during their traveling in the fluid so that type of body is called as a streamlining body first is sphere in case of sphere we can observe the pattern of waves say for example this is the original wave which is less diverted from its original path this is the first wave if we talk about second then diversion will be more so that will offer resistance to the body third layer this third layer will have more resistance third layer is the first layer which is close to the surface of this body so we will have a point of separation i am marking point 1 dash and point 2 dash in the diagram 
so point one dash and two dash are the point of separations so that from that point the layer is get separated from the surface of the body this is nothing but the o or stagnation point i will name it as s stagnation point is that point where fluid velocity is zero so this fourth wave fourth direction will get closer from the stagnation point so if we talk about wake formation these curved surfaces are nothing but the eddies which are formed due to reduction in pressure in this zone so this is the zone where low pressure is formed and due to that low pressure fluid get introduced into that region so the wake formation is caused so these wakes are nothing but the loss of energy so if wake formation is there then in that case loss of energy will be there second type of body is this trip wire ring if we provide a ring over the surface like this then that ring will be called as trip wire ring this ring will try to separate the flow at earlier these point of separations will go over here and here and if fluid travels beyond the point of separation then in that case there will be at the same location the zone of wake formation will be less will be shorter so this is the another method that is trip wire ring and next one is aerofoil we will extend the shape of sphere say for example this is the spherical shape and now this shape is extended such that all the fluid which is gliding over the surface like this as shown in figure extends the point of separation to the last so these are the one dash and two dash points so one dash and two dash points are shifted towards this downward direction hence this is the third method that is aerofoil so see this is a shape in which there are small wakes means less resistance offered during the traveling of fluid second method is artificial roughness artificial roughness is nothing but a provision to make laminar boundary layer as a turbulent we all know that in laminar boundary layer the velocities of flow are very less and in turbulent velocities are very larger so if we consider two cases say for example this is the first case of sphere in which we will obtain originally a large wake because this initial zone is having laminar boundary layer and then turbulent one and then this point of separation so if i increase the friction over the surface like this in this region if i increase the surface area or increase the friction then in that case this wave will come close than initial case and we will have a small wake so this is the method artificial roughness is the method in which we can reduce the boundary layer separation slot near leading edge we all know that this point is called as stagnation point and leading edge this is the start of leading edge we are anyhow want to increase the flow velocities near the boundary so we will provide a slot inclined slot in the streamline body such that fluid will enter into that slot and exit on opposite direction like this so fluid will exit on this direction this exiting fluid will be pressed by initial fluid that is this one so that this compression this pressing will extend the point of separation say for example this is the point of separation after slot initially it was here so this point of separation is get extended towards the end like this shifted to this point this is the actual point of separation 
so this will reduce again the loss that is energy loss and increase the efficiency of the system so this is one of the method in which acceleration of fluid close to boundaries occur next method is suction slot as its name indicate in which process of suction of air will occur so in this case we generally provide an opening at the edge like this this is the opening at the edge and through this opening we suck the air we provide negative pressure in this zone as shown in figure so it will introduce this external fluid into the slot which will cause extension of this initial point of separation say this is first point now this first point will get extended to the second location that is here so this is one of the method by sucking the fluid we try to force these layers towards the boundaries opposite to suction we can have a blower in suction we reduce the velocity here we, we can write as velocity near boundary is reduced and in case of blower we provide an additional fluid which is having more velocity more u so that its direction will introduce itself and will glide it up to the end of point end of aerofoil so if this is first will be the initial point of a separation then that will be go that will shift to second point if we provide a blower so in this case i can write as velocity near boundary is increased another method is guide vane as its name indicate guide means to direct to direct a particular flow of fluid we can provide a vane vane is nothing but an obstruction but it not actually obstruct the flow it actually divert the flow by small amount so that this is the example this is the pipe in which if initially i want to draw the velocities say for example in this pipe here this is the corner is the point of separation and flow will be something like this something like this these are the directions of various lines like this so at this point the flow is get separated from the actual boundary so for that purpose i will provide a vane when is nothing but a curved surface so that the shape of vane will try to divert the flow but will not leave the flow from the boundary so after this this actual flow line will travel along the boundary another vane will again divert it and we will have the pattern as shown in figure so this is the initial case and this is after vanes provision if we talk about other applications then in practical cases say for example various types of turbines we have vanes which are nothing but the guiding purpose for the guiding purpose so these are called as guide vanes except pelton turbine in francis or kaplan turbine we will have vanes which try to reduce the actual loss of energy so that efficiency is get increased so these are very important in which guiding mechanism of flow occur and efficiency is increased that's all
थैंक यू